If you follow my channel at all, you know that I like to talk about productivity and technology, but you may not know that I'm an engineer with a passion for 3D printing. In fact, directly behind the desk that you normally see in my videos is my printing desk, which is home to the Prusa printers that I keep for work and personal use. So as a bit of a crossover episode, in this video, I wanted to showcase three 3D printed products that I use to declutter my workspace. The first is this vertical elegant arch laptop stand by DMP Massive, which I use to keep my laptop up and out of the way when docked to my monitor and working from home. It stands about 10 centimeters tall and has a base that's roughly 24 by 15 centimeters, as well as a 26 millimeter gap that comfortably cradles my 16 inch MacBook Pro. I've been using this stand for the past two years and it's been great at keeping my laptop up and out of the way. The arch design is also a really nice contemporary style that permits plenty of airflow. I printed it in the same orientation as it stands on my desk using Prusament Space Gray PLA and about three centimeters of support material underneath the top of the arch. All things considered, it turned out really nice and has held up very well. So it's an easy recommendation for anyone who's looking to reclaim some desk space while working with a laptop driven monitor setup. The next part is this industrial looking three tiered pen holder that's designed to look like stacked nuts. I've been using this pen holder for almost a year now, and as soon as I saw it, I knew it would be an excellent candidate for multi-filament printing, which is how I've achieved this clear color separation between each of the stacked nuts. It's still one connected piece, but using Prusa Slicer, you can easily add breakpoints to the layers where you want to change the color of the object, and the printer will automatically pause at each stage, giving you the opportunity to swap out the filament. The hardware guy has a nice video explaining how to do this in more detail, so I'll link that below if you're interested in the specifics. But the result is a multi-colored print that I think turned out really well and is easily printed in a vertical orientation without the need for any support material. I chose to sandwich this satin finished bronze PLA in between top and bottom nuts that were printed in a faux marble PLA, which gives the pen holder a really elegant look that matches the clean white aesthetic of my desk. I also really love how the intermittent coloring of the marble PLA works to camouflage the 3D printed layer lines, which adds to the finish of the print. All in all, it stands 9cm tall and 8cm wide, and can accommodate about 16 pens, give or take. If this video has sparked your interest in picking up a new skill, like 3D printing, you may be interested in learning more about today's video sponsor, Skillshare which you can join for under $10 a month with an annual subscription. 3D printing is just one of the many topics covered in Skillshare's catalog, which contains thousands of ad-free classes that allow you to learn online and at your own pace. If you've never taken on a 3D printing project before, but you're itching to design something for yourself, I can recommend Lauren Slowick's 3D printing Solving Problems Through Product Design class because it walks you through all the basics from deciding what to make roughly sketching out your first concepts, creating a 3D model, preparing the printer, and iterating. And the best part is, the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. Keeping with the theme of decluttering my workspace, I also printed this desk-mounted headphone holder by Mr. Tech. It's a really simple C-clamp style mount that's been designed to accommodate desks up to 4 centimeters thick using a 3D printed bolt mechanism. It also has three loops underneath the headband rest that can be used to store charging or audio cables, and it comes in two variations that have either 45 or 55 millimeter headband rest widths so that you can accommodate larger headphones if necessary. But I found that the standard 45 millimeter width works well for my drop pandas. I actually recently adapted the original model of this clamp to include some cylindrical cuts on the underside in order to accommodate some strips of flexible filament which act as rubber feet, providing more stability. An idea I got from this simple Arca Swiss tripod plate designed by Walter on Thingiverse. The headphone clamp printed easily in plain white PLA without any need for support material when oriented on its side and with the companion bolt printed vertically. I also added some infill modifiers using Prusa Slicer to increase the infill to about 60% near the corners of the C-clamp because I found that my original desk clamp began to deform here after about a year of use. 
Even without my modifications though, it's very easy to recommend this headphone desk mount to anyone looking to clean up their workspace while keeping their headphones within reach. And that's it. I hope you found this video interesting. I know it's a little different than my normal content, as you can't just go out and buy these products, but I really love 3D printing neat products like these, so I wanted to share them with you. If you'd like to see more 3D printing content from me, please let me know using the comments section. I'll make sure to leave links to all of the printable parts I talked about in the description as well. Otherwise, if you found this video interesting, please hit the like button, consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time.